Mm. What's up, y'all? Good morning. Guess what? Not I look crazy, but we're going to run six miles today. What's up you guys cc back with another video i'm just a regular girl trying to live a fit girl's lifestyle so if you're into that make sure you keep watching make sure you subscribe and also follow me on tiktok and instagram so you guys we are going to run a 10k this morning i'm so nervous and excited i've been waiting for this for like two weeks but things kept happening um and so now i'm gonna run it this isn't like a race or anything we're gonna run it on our own but i'm super excited about it so this will be my longest distance hold on i have my water bladders that i'm gonna put in my vest one for me one for my husband this will be my longest distance i've ever run so yeah i'm a little nervous i've run five miles before and i ran that straight this is going to be a six mile run but it's probably going to be in intervals um, just because the first three miles of the run, so it's the three mile trail and depending on where you start, it's either all uphill or all downhill. So we usually start at the bottom and we go uphill for three miles and come back down for three miles and that's what we're going to do today. The coming back down part, that's the part that kind of feels good, but going up, going up is brutal. So we're probably going to have to take some breaks in between there but it's fine something i had to learn on my running journey is that it is okay to take breaks like it just is what it is so let me show y'all what we have here this is my first time using this we're not leaving for like another hour and some change so i'm going to rinse it out and then i'm going to put some water in it and put them in the freezer so i have both Bank, bank. Sit down, stand up, pass out, wake up, fade it, fade it. I done threw around some people living their life in bottles. Granddaddy had the golden flash, backstroke every day in Chicago. Some people like the way it feels, some people want to kill their sorrow. Some people want to fit in with the popular that was my problem. I was in the dark room, loud tunes, looking to make a vow soon. I'ma get fucked up, filling up my cup, I see the crowd move, changing by the y'all we're about to eat breakfast and then i'm gonna take this hair out and i'm gonna put it up in a little bun but um we're running in about two hours so i'll have plenty of time for this to like settle it's just a in, an english muffin with egg and ham that's it and cheese i'm so good and i feel like it's the perfect amount of carbs i'm gonna give me a little water and we're gonna be ready for this run.
y'all so we are in the car we're headed we got to drop off the little one and then we're gonna be headed to the park I'm still kind of nervous and excited but um it's funny because we were just chatting about um we were just chatting about like running and what time of day to run and he's like I don't mind running at this time but you like to get up super early and, <laughs> and start running and I don't want to run at that time and I'm like I mean look if I don't do it at that time it just won't get done okay it just will not get done yeah I, I'm, I'm the exact opposite like I'll be like oh I can go to the gym at nine o'clock in the morning, ten o'clock in the morning, twelve o'clock in the afternoon, two o'clock in the afternoon, seven o'clock at night. It doesn't really matter to me what time of the day I go exercise. Um, CC on the other hand, now I get up and walk. Like we do our walks, she like I ask her every night, we going for a walk in the morning. I get up and walk. That doesn't take like any mental thought to just get up and walk, or needing to be awoke or awake to walk. But that running. She be on it though. I will give it to her. She lives and dies by that Wednesday run class. So 6.2 is the agenda for the day. This trail that we're about to go run on, I know we don't, we're kind of like hoping we don't have to make it up at the end. We're kind of like guesstimating that this is going to be a 6.2 mile run. But um, yeah. Um, yeah, because it's like, f so what we, we've we done it this trail before, but we haven't started at the beginning, beginning. So the trail is five miles, like, or what we did before, I'm sorry, is, and it wasn't even five miles, it was like 4.8, 4.9, and we had to like run in the circles. To, we like ran to the, we like ran to the end and, and then ran back, back to our a car. A couple times. Yeah. Um, in order to make it to the five miles. So we're going to start at like the beginning, beginning, which is like across the street and some like, yeah. I'll, I'll get some footage of that but we're gonna start at the beginning beginning and then we're gonna run like I said the first part of the, the trail is mainly uphill it's like a steady incline um, the first like three miles is gonna just be like a steady incline I think the first mile is like f close to flat but then after that it's like just kind of a steady incline and then it gets like pretty steep at the end um, I guess two times it gets really yeah steep. two times yeah. it gets pretty <laughs> steep at like probably like that last half mile I'd say is like really steep um, and then coming down is just a lot easier so I feel like that's where you know we're probably gonna walk not probably we're gonna walk some of that I'm gonna get some, um, of, that some of that going uphill I'm we're gonna walk so um, walking that I think it's just, we're gonna have to make up some time on the way back down not that we're racing anybody or trying to race the clock, but, um, you know, I, I don't know. What's your guesstimated time that we're going to get this done? Time to get it done with the walks and everything. Um, hour and a half. Hour and a half? Isn't that long? You figure you usually do somewhere between... Uh, Let's say on this type of run, because it's a little longer, 12 to 14 minute mile or somewhere, it's going to average, usually probably going to be your Going splits. uphill. Splits. Um, so you figure, that's, that's what I said, 12 to 14, even when you're coming down here. It was like a, well, I know on flat wow. surface you're a little faster, but I'm saying the whole total, you're going to average, this average split is probably going to be somewhere between 12 to 14 miles. So you figure 12 times 6 is what? Um, even on the faster side. 12 times 5 is... An hour. That's an hour. So, so time six. So six. Uh, so an hour 72. and twelve. So an hour and twelve minutes. That's on the higher side. So well, that sounds about right because I do my five k in about yeah, yeah, yeah. 35, 34. So you got to figure though you're gonna go longer, so you're gonna be a little tired, more tired. I know. That's what that's I'm saying. I said. So we're somewhere. So we'll should finish somewhere between an hour and twelve and an hour and a half, give or take some time. Yeah. So an hour and a, so an hour and twelve minutes to an hour and a half is what it's probably gonna take us to get back. Okay, so if we start at we get there at like ten, we should be wrapping up somewhere around eleven or so. Yeah. Okay. Probably get there a little before ten. We start running at ten, so I had my warm up. Okay. So we'll start running at around ten, and then we'll be, not twelve. Well, I mean eleven. That's what like I, mean. 11, I thought. I, I thought I said eleven. Fifteen, eleven yeah. thirty. Yeah. Do a time check and see how quickly we get this done. I'm gonna try to walk as little as possible, but like I said, I know on that uphill, 
Oh, we definitely we're walking. <laughs> we're walking. Um, I would say at least probably like a half mile to a mile of that uphill. I don't know, but that's probably gonna be a walk. That's disgusting. It's not. That's why I used to put a little crystal in it, which I have some. It's actually really good though. Put a little crystal light in it, that just tastes really good. To refill my bottle with my house, that's really good. But yeah, alright. So, I'm not, I'm a, I'm, um, sometimes I get a little overzealous on these runs. I'm, I'm running at your pace today. I'm not even gonna try to be, um, yeah, I'm running right with you. You, the can, whole go, time. you can go ahead if you want. <laughs> you need to. But I'm gonna stick with my slow pace and I'm gonna finish. The goal is to finish. Look, this is the first time I've ever done this. The goal is to finish. Like, I ain't trying to make it be two hours, but. This ain't my the first time ever doing this, but I ain't did this since I was in my 20s and I'm in my 40s now. <laughs> yeah, it's my first time ever running a 10K. I've done five miles like three times now, so it's my first time ever running a 10K. So, we got it. A green heron. Oh shit! Two in. I am struggling today, y'all. Two miles in, though. We're there. Babe. Let's go. going up at about 6.4 we miscalculated the route a little bit but it's cool we did Woo! I put the time I'll tell y'all the time when we stop but that first that first leg was rough <laughs> another PR in the book
y'all we're back home and oh, mark just actually went and got us some food so i got some chipotle i'm the most basic chipotle eater in the world i only get chicken rice and cheese on the bowl and then i have them put a salad dressing and some sour cream on the side and i warm up the bowl when i get home and i put that stuff on it chicken rice cheese that's it on my bowl um but i am eating my food i'm starving so i'm eating my food and also drinking some protein water here and I just drank some electrolytes, so I'm trying to get my sodium back up. I am a sweater when I work out, so I need to make sure I keep my sodium intake good. But let's debrief that run. So one, I'm just super happy we finished. Like, I knew I was going to finish, but I've just never done one before, so... All right, super happy that we finished that, but let me give you the stats. I used the Nike Run Club app for those of you who don't know so we did 6.3 miles um an average pace of 13 minutes in one second like i said when we were going there like going up the hill man i was struggling that first three miles was so hard for me that was a bitch it was so hard for me so for the first three miles the first mile was 13.01 and we actually walked so we started at our car walked to the top of the hill which was the starting line and then started running back down and so that kind of slowed the first mile down the first mile I was okay but it's once we got after that that's when I started to I don't know I started to waver a little bit all right so my first mile like I said we walked to the top of the hill from our car and then started running back down so um, we started I started my run club app like right as we got out the car so that mile was 1331 I actually ran most of that except I ran all of that except for the walking up the hill so that's why that one was so slow but that one probably would have been would have been better mile two was 11:59. that's when i started to feel it and i was like lord i'm tired i'm so tired mile three 15 41 we did a lot of walking on mile three and that's because mile three is where the hill kind of hits the peak so once you hit three miles like it's the end of it you're going up a nice little incline it's like if you would get on the treadmill and do like a nine or ten percent incline that's what all of mile three feels like for the most part so we walked most of that then mile four it was 13 23 mile five was my best mile which was 10 46 mile six um 12 minutes and 15 seconds and then the last 0.32 was an average of 14 38 but we were like run walking that end so that's it that's what i did and then we did a little like quarter mile cool down but i am so excited that i finished it and i conquered it my left foot hurts like a little bit i don't know what that's about but i'm super happy that we finished and i conquered the run and yeah now i'm just gotta, I gotta get my fuel back up it was also the perfect perfect weather it never got i think above like 73 while we were out there so the weather was so amazing it wasn't super hot like last time we were there at that same trail it was probably close to 90 degrees like today just the perfect weather for running fall running is going to be an entire vibe like an entire vibe but anyway y'all that's really it for this video i just wanted to take you guys along with me and document my 10k run um, we'll be doing much more of these, so hopefully you guys stick around. If you have not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to this channel because much more amazingness and because there will be much more videos to come. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye. Hey, two sprinters to Quebec. Cherie, who am on back? They only giving niggas plus one, so I never pull up to the mat. You know I gotta bring the
at? You know I gotta bring the G block. You know